Hello, my name is Aaron Govet Henry from Educare, Tanzania. On today's classes, I would like to introduce you to the subject which is called Introduction to Accounting. In Introduction to Accounting, this is the subject which prepares students to be ready to undergo or to take the accounting courses from the different levels. As you can see, if you have been able to cover Introduction to Accounting, now you can be very comfortable to deal with CAT level of accounting, to deal with ABE level of accounting, to deal with ACCA or diploma in accounting. Okay, this course is suitable for anyone who want to know or who want to enter into the world of the accounting. So let us take a look on how many topics we're going to cover into this subject of introduction to accounting. Now let us see how many topics we have in this subject of introduction to accounting okay to come out on Avona, we can have different topics in introduction to accounting so the first topic here as is the name of the subject is introduction to accounting the second topic we're going to cover is income statement the third one is the balance sheet the fourth topic is the trial balance and the five topic here we're going to see different type of taxes and how we can apply them in our day to day activities welcome for the class as i was saying now we're starting to see from one topic to the another topic of our subject of introduction to accounting the first topic as the word is say introduction to accounting so let us start by asking ourselves what is account when you're doing accounting what do you mean by accounting okay Accounting this can be defined as an art, okay? This can be as an art which deal with classifying. What do we mean by classifying? In accounting, we are dealing with different transactions and different items. So we need to classify from which, tra which transaction belong to which group, okay? Let's say we have, let's say we have rent. Example, I, I show my type of transaction here. Let's say we have rent. Let's say we have sales. So we need to classify, we need to understand from this rent as our transaction, in which group of accounting it's gonna fall, okay? Is it an expenditure or is it a revenue? So let's say I pay the rent, this is an expenditure. How about the sales? Is this an income, is it an expenditure or an asset? So we need to classify our transaction, okay? The second part here now, as I say, here we need to analyze. When I say to analyze, now I understand I pay the rent, okay? So when I analyze, I need to understand this rent gonna fall into which category. First, I classify my transaction. I pay the rent, okay? What is the rent? It is an expenses, okay? I sell some item, okay? This is the income transaction. So when I analyze here, I need to understand in which specific category these things gonna fall. Example here, this rent gonna fall under expenses, okay? This is gonna fall under revenue. This year, I analyze my data. First, I, call, I classify my data, now I analyze. I know rent fall for expenditure, sales fall for revenue. The third part in accounting is recording. Now I need to understand if this is an expenditure, in which side I'm gonna record it and in which ledger I'm gonna record it. So in recording part here, I'm gonna have something called ledgers, which have debit side and have a credit side. I need to understand when I'm recording my transaction at which part they're gonna fall at, okay? Example here, expenses, it has the nature of the debit called this rent, it can be debited corresponding to cash or bank. How about the sales? This is the revenue, it's gonna fall here. Corresponding to the cash which I have, okay? This is recording. Now the following part here is presenting. Now how can I present my data? I can use the financial statement, which we're gonna discuss later in our subject. Here we can have income statement, balance sheet, trial balance, and other. Now. How about interpretation to the external user? Now I need to translate, um, to make people understand what all of this mean, okay? On interpretation here, we need to make this data or this transaction useful to the external user. External user can be creditor, can be customer, 
can be government and anybody who is interested in our transaction here. So this is introduction to account and this is a definition of accounting. So for the quick look, let's check the types of accounting which we have. We have three major types of accounting, financial accounting, managerial accounting, and cost accounting. What is financial? As the word itself, financial accounting deal with accounting transaction preparation. Here the part which we deal with recording of our transaction. Here you can see some statement like income statement, financial position, and the trial balance. So here is the accounting which deal with preparing of the financial transaction. Managerial accounting. This deal with the use of the financial accounting by the manager. Manager use this financial accounting to make decision in this managerial accounting. And the last part is the cost accounting. Now this one here use both financial and managerial accounting to see how they can utilize the cost of the business. By meaning of utilize, we can see how much cost are we accumulating, how much cost are we incurring, and how we can minimize them. This was the short class for the introduction of accounting. Thank you for listening to me. Stay tuned to Educare Tanzania. Go to our platform, YouTube at Educare Tanzania, Facebook at Educare Tanzania, Instagram at Educare Tanzania. Thank you for listening. Until next time. Thank you.